Hello everyone, welcome back to our Hawks Makerspace uh, challenges. Today, <clears throat> move this to the side, we're going to try an external gearbox. Okay, and, and I mean external by we're going to make a, a cube <clears throat> and some gears that um, move with each other. Okay, there's one that runs through a shaft and one that runs on top. And it's very simple in terms of the movement. Um, the difficult part are the gears. Okay, so we're going <clears> to <throat> show you two ways of doing this. I'll move this off. So first thing is a cube. And what I've done is uh, this cube is actually five centimeter squares. Okay, and um, the lines look pretty straight. You can either draw it freehand um, on a sheet of paper or what I did is uh, I just I went into Word and uh, I just created a net using five centimeter squares. Just placed them you know, in the proper um, folding pattern and that gave me my net. So uh, right now we're going to quickly make a cube out of this net and that will be our, our beginning. Okay, now I need to <clears throat> put a little of tape on. I'm going to put, I'm going to use masking tape. I wouldn't normally use masking tape for um, for a cube. I, I much prefer using um, clear tape, just so that the tape's not really visible. And just a preference of mine, I don't, I don't like using tabs um, when I'm making my shapes from nets, uh, mostly because I don't I don't like to use glue on on shapes. It just it takes too long to dry. It's just personal preference. Okay, and uh, tape you can take off if you need to and put it back on again if you make a mistake. Okay, and now I have the top to close up. <clears throat> I'm you know what I'm going to leave the top open. Um, just for locating holes and making it easier to put holes in. Now, I, oh, I better, I got one more side to do. Now, you want to maybe firm up your edges a little more on your cube, just so that there's no frayed ends. Okay, so there we go, there's our cube, that's good. Now, the hard part are the gears. <clears throat> now, on this one, these are actually pre-made gears. They're made on uh, Tinkercad. And um, and then I uh, printed them out on using my Cricut Maker. So I actually cut them, cut them using the Cricut Maker. And uh, for our purposes um, in Makerspace, we are going to, we will use these uh, at some point in time as well. But uh, I want you to um, try to make your own gears first, okay? We want to have a bit of an appreciation in how, how it works. So what I've done is um, four, I made four centimeter, these are four centimeter circles, and you can draw them. Um, you can actually draw them from a four centimeter square and then round the edges. You can do that, okay? Or you can uh, go on to something like Word and make a whole bunch of circles and, uh, and just cut them out, which is, which is what I did. Okay, there's many ways to do it. Uh, I picked four centimeters because it just fits nicely on a five centimeter box with the, the gears hanging over. Now, this is the tricky part, because first of all, uh, we, have to, we have to find the center and we have to figure out how we're gonna do the gears. And I made a bit of an attempt earlier and I tried to make some star gears, which, which seemed, they worked okay but they're, they're very inconsistent, and I think it's maybe because I went too fast. So what I want to do here is I want to show you um, one way of doing this to make your own gears. We need to find the center first, and the easiest way to find the middle of a circle is to do some folding. All right, we'll go this way, and actually I think we'll just keep the fold and we'll fold it again, like this. Okay, 
and if we open it up, you <coughs> basically um, found the middle, the intersection of the uh, the lines is the middle of the circle. Okay, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to use a push pin and I'm going to put the middle in right now, just so I know what's there. Okay, there is my middle. Now I uh, <clears throat> want to try to make some gears and. To tr try to keep it as simple as possible and not use anything more than pencils and um, scissors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to folding it in half and in half again the way we found the middle. And then I'm going to fold it once more. Okay, And this is a tricky fold, especially for something so small. It's kind of like when you try to make um, snowflakes. You know, you cut the pieces out and you open it up. Because what I want is I want some equal distance lines that I can draw and okay, now now I have them now I'm actually going to just make sure I can see them okay I think I can so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these lines and you can use a ruler or you can just follow the line okay now these are equally spaced around the circle <coughs> You know, give or take um, how steady our hands are when we draw the line. See, that one's not very steady. So, this one actually should be right there instead. Not that one. I don't know if I can erase it or not. Yep, there we go. Good. That's what I live with pencils. And we'll do that one. <clears throat> we'll do this one. And we'll do this one. So now what I've done is I've drawn, and if you can't quite see the line, just make the fold a little more prominent there. Okay, so now it's a bit of a, like a wagon wheel. It's divided into <clears throat> eight equal sections. And this is kind of our basis for um, trying to make our gears. Now, this is where the experimentation comes in. And we're going to just experiment a little bit because this is where we're going to make our template out of. And... In order to cut this, we need to we need to try to maybe make a bit of a star pattern, uh, or you could make you could make it square as well. We could try that. I don't know. I don't know what'll work. Uh, this is a lot of experimentation doing this. So I think we, we only want the gears to go so far down because if you look on um, this gear that was designed on Tinkercad, if you look on this, the gears only go down so far. Right? They don't go down all the way. So we need to make this circle here, and this is going to be a freehand draw circle. Okay, um, uh, you know you can use a tool to draw it, and we're going to maybe go halfway. So I'm going to try to draw a circle freehand. We, uh, sorry, I have to uh, start again in the middle because um, because I had too many videos on my phone. It stopped on me. Um, that's why things might look a little in different position here. Um, so to carry on, we're freehand drawing a circle, and that's what I started doing. So let's carry on. Uh, we're going to freehand draw a circle, and we'll go around here. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just just as long as it is actually a circle. Okay, because really the important part is up here, and we have our lines. And I know it's not 100%. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, drawn accurately, but uh, I think it will work. Now we want to do is make your the middle of here. Just make a little line, and here again, you don't have to measure. You just you just kind of take a look at it and see where the middle is. And now we want to make our our star shapes. And here we are just also going to just go straight down and go up this way. Go up this way. And we're going to go all the way around. And, you know, if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. And this will be our template. So this is, even though this, this is what our gear is going to look like, it's still our template because um, we're going to have to trace this on some other circles. 
there. So now we want to cut all the way around. And sometimes they'll come off, sometimes they won't. These seem to be coming off okay so far. And yeah, it's working pretty good. Turn it and cut it. So we'll have eight eight gear teeth all together. Bah. I kinda cut that one wrong. There we go. Just trying to angle it so that you can see what I'm doing as well. Normally I'd be just cutting towards me. Okay, now I'm gonna take my other two circles. These are our gears that we're gonna use. And I'm gonna put them on. And I'm going to, right away, I should put it on my cardboard. Right away I'm going to push my pin in the middle. Make a mark in both of them. Okay, there we go. And here, let's find where my middle is. There. So now I'm going to trace them all. Um, I'm going to go there, 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 that one, that one. One all the way around, and you can you can turn your your gear around as well, but you just have to make sure you try to keep it tight against the other piece. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to cut those out, and I think I'm going to do two at the same time. So let's uh, line these guys up. I'm pretty sure I have them in the middle. There we go. <clears throat> And I'm going to cut them. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, go all the way around. And these guys aren't falling off as easily. So, we're, you go all the way around, and if they don't fall off, you just pull them out. Okay, you do that sort of thing. And... That one's a little off. I'm gonna try to custom cut it. Hold on. on here. Uh, and I don't know if it'll, it'll work. It might, it might not. It might have to have more of a square edge on the top. But, you know, gears with points work just fine. Pull that off, pull that off. And this one, and this one. Okay, now we have um, a set of two, okay, and what we want to do is get a paper clip, a long paper clip works best, um, I think a short one will work, work as well, and you want to take one of your gears, sorry, you want to bend it in 90 degrees, this is a little, this is a tricky thing to do. Um, strength wise if, if you need somebody to help you with it then you know by all means you need to get somebody to help you with it and the closer it is to 90 degrees the better okay because when you turn it uh, it's nice that it has a nice smooth turn to it so you put it on like this and you're going to tape that end on and you're going to put a little piece of tape on like that Okay, so it turns. Yeah, that's good. That works. Yep. And now we take our box and you are going to put two holes in it. Of course, I've already, I already put holes in. Um, but where your holes are is you want your the top of your gear to be just above your edge because the other gear is going to hit it. Or, or, or connect with it, right? And you can actually go to the valley part of the gear. Right? And I think my hole lines up. It was for another gear, but it should line up. Okay, and that should work okay. So we need one on this side, and you need a hole on this side. The other side doesn't really matter as much, as long as it's 
in kind of the same spot and now we this is part of the reason why you want the lid open and so you can see where the other hole is you can you can try to find it, it just takes a little longer that's all and it doesn't want to go through there we go okay now we're through I can tape my my lid closed the top I want to go as close to this edge as I can so it doesn't interfere with the gears and this one as well looks good okay and part of the reason I like tape is you can take it off in case you have uh, something's not right here okay when you're uh, when you're trying to make your gear work so that turns All right. I don't know if you want to maybe bend this end to make it easier to turn Okay, that works. Now when you take this one and a push pin and you're going to do the same thing. You can move this out of the way and this one is going to be on the edge as well. Now let's see if this holds in the right spot. Um, just mistakenly put them in <clears throat> too early before and it's a little tricky. You just have to make sure you push hard enough to uh, put the hole in or you can take the tape off, open it up and push the hole and then tape it back closed again which which is also possible and that works just a little tight but yeah it's going around pretty good goes around both ways oh, now see it's sticking on this tape so what I want to do is take this tape off and maybe put it even closer to the edge if I can just a little bit just to hold it closed that's all and you can adjust it later, you can fix it. You put tape on, on an end maybe or down here. Okay, now let's see if these are too tight. No, that actually works pretty good. Yeah, surprisingly it does. It does work. It works really well. And I say surprisingly because um, you know we, we made the gears not not as an engineering um, exercise because we just did it basically freehand uh, precision wise um, that's as close as we can get to it without it being you know produced on a laser cutter or a, or a paper cutter and it's working pretty good actually so that uh, that works fine and that's uh, that's what you're doing now what you can do from here is you can put something on this gear and make it taller um, something that is, uh, has movement um, the other thing you can do too is you don't you don't have to just have a gear that's four centimeters. I picked four centimeters because it's just easier to work with a smaller gear right now. You could actually have a gear that's five centimeters or bigger, um, and then you just need to move the hole over. Same thing with this one. If you make the gear bigger, you just have to take it out and put a hole in a different position on your cube. So your your cube could have just different holes in it. It could actually have holes on this side too for for the bigger gears. Uh, you know, so you can play around with that and, and, and see how that works. So that's how you make handmade gears. Um, it, uh, it's, it's, it's working pretty good. So the sh it looks like the shorter the gear, the better. Um, and it seems to be turning okay. And these ones are, um, are cut on uh, a Cricut maker. They've been, uh, designed like I said before, on Tinkercad and uh, saved as a, a laser cutter file and just um, cut out on cardstock. It's it's really easy to cut that way. Uh, but if you don't have access to that, then this this is the next best thing. Okay. But for our purposes, um, we are probably going to end up using these um, just because the movement is a little smoother. That's all. But I'm going to want everybody to give this a try. It's a it's actually fun. It's 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 nice when um, when it works out, works out really well. Okay, so that's our that's our external gearbox. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, trying to make them today, and I uh, hope you have some success. If uh, you want to share your video, by all means, go ahead. And um, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.